Welcome to Science with Sudeep. Yesterday we have seen vector addition by tail to head vector addition method. Today we are going to see how to add two vectors by tail to tail vector addition method. Let's consider two vectors. We, we consider perpendicular vectors in tail to tail vector addition. Let's say this is vector which is along y axis we can say generally we can say this is vector r y and another vector which is along x axis which is perpendicular to r y that is r x angle between two vectors are 90 degree that's why they are known as perpendicular vectors let's see what's the resultant of this vector and let's if you have a two perpendicular vectors like this and listen look at here this vector is joined by a tail to tail vector addition. You can see that the, the, the two tails of the vectors are connected here. And now let's consider this is a parallelogram or a rectangle. And the resultant of these two vectors R way and R way which is connected tail to tail vector addition method. The resultant of the vector is a vector which originate from the tails of both vectors to the opposite corners of the parallelogram. So like this is the resultant vector R. And this is our theta, angle theta which shows the direction of the resultant vector. If, if you use the correct and accurate scale system, we can draw this R, Y on a paper by using a ruler and you can draw Rx on a paper by using a ruler then you will get the resultant vector R like this hence you can even calculate theta by using a protractor let's see the mathematical equation to calculate the resultant of this vector this vectors the equation is resultant vector r equals square root of r x squared plus r y squared. You can substitute the values here and you will get the answer. For instance, let's say your r y is 2 newton and r x is 3 newton. Substitute in this equation your r equals resultant vector r equals square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared r will be 4 plus 9 under the square root is square root 13 newton you can calculate it using a calculator or you can just leave it like that angle theta is tan inverse r y over r x if you substitute its tan inverse, your Ry is 2, Rx is 3. If you simplify this, you will get the value of theta. And theta you measure from the positive x axis here. That's all about tail to tail vector addition. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe the channel if you want more videos. Bye.